Okay, welcome back to another episode of Northwest Backyard Barbecue. My name is Tim, and today we're gonna to be making some fresh caught Chinook salmon. This is a piece of salmon that I caught uh, off the Oregon coast recently, and I'm excited to cook it. What we're gonna to do today is put it in a marinade, and then we're gonna put a rub on it and put it on the Yoder pellet smoker. So uh, let's go ahead and get the marinade started right now. So what we're gonna be putting in the well, first of all, here is the beautiful piece of Chinook salmon. Um, again, that was about a 21 pound fish. I actually caught two of them that day. And uh, the other one that I caught is actually a spring salmon, which um, is a little bit more fatty, uh, but this is a good one as well. So that's the piece of meat we're gonna be cooking today. And the marinade that we're gonna put it in is gonna be a quarter cup of brown sugar. Stick that in there. Got uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. We've got a mixture of black pepper and lemon pepper. That's about a half a teaspoon each. Also gonna have a quarter cup of soy sauce. Gonna have a quarter cup of olive oil. And we're gonna have about a tablespoon of sesame oil. And we're also gonna have about three cloves of garlic. And we're gonna have about an eighth of a cup of water. And one more thing that we're gonna put in here is some fresh ground Jacobson's sea salt. And you probably want to put about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half in there. There we go. That's about enough. Okay. So you just want to kind of mix that around a little bit. and put the fish in the slippery fish. Oh my, it's slippery. Boom. Like so. Okay, I'm sure it's laying in there. So I'll put it in the refrigerator like that. So the meat side is getting the majority of that marinade. I'm gonna put that in the hour or in the uh, refrigerator for you know at least an hour um, up to all day if you want but probably more like four four hours or so. So I'll put that in there and then when this is done and we're pulling it out of the marinade we'll get the uh, yoder fired up and put the put the fish on there and we'll bring you back for that. Uh, we'll also put the rub on there too when we uh, right before we put it on the yoder. So uh, I'll be back with you um, with that step here in just a second. Okay, so we're back uh, and I've got the salmon. It's been marinating for uh, about four hours or so. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the Ziploc bag and uh, get it on this um, cookie sheet here with the foil and then we're gonna season it up and then we're gonna take it over to the uh, Yoder YS640 and uh, put it on there at about 275 degrees. So let's go ahead and uh, get it out of the bag and see how it looks. Cannot wait to eat this. This is one of our family's favorites, fresh salmon. And nothing like fresh salmon. We do get a lot of salmon out here in Oregon. I mean, this is a lot of rivers and streams and uh, of course the ocean, which is where I got this. And there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Okay. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and take these gloves off so we can get it all seasoned up. Okay. Clean up a little bit here. And uh, got a lot of wasps out here, so I want to get this seasoned up before the wasps, wasps start to smell. So what we're going to use today is Eat Barbecue uh, Rub. This has got some uh, brown sugar content in it, which is what we want. 
uh, what we want here, our family. Uh, we like to sweeten it up a little bit. Now, salmon obviously is very good without anything at all on it, which we do a lot. We just salt and pepper, maybe put a little bit of lemon pepper on there and stick it on the smoker. We do that often as well, but we really like this. If you want to add some, some flavor to it, uh, this is really a good way to do it. So we do it both ways though. Salmon's one of those fish that uh, has a lot of natural flavor because of the fat content that's, that's in salmon. Uh, so uh, it is an excellent fish just with salt and pepper and, and uh, you know, real basic. So, but today we're not doing that. So we're gonna put a light dusting this rub on there about like so that looks about good perfect all right so uh, this is what we look like before we go on the smoker so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get uh, everything moved over there so you can see us put it on and uh, we're gonna smoke it for about probably 20 minutes or so at 275 we're really looking at it to see when it's done uh, and uh, you know, you're going to have the fat that's going to start rising to the top, which is kind of a white um, film that rises to the top. That's an indicator that it's done. And obviously it's, it's fish. You know, if you eat sushi, you can eat fish raw. So we like to eat it really on the more underdone side. So uh, one thing I don't like is overcooked fish. So we tend to take it off uh, when it's maybe even it's still a little bit uh, raw inside, uh, medium rare uh, to rare. So uh, that's what we're going to do here as well. So let me bring you back over to the Yoder and we'll get this on. Okay, so here we are back at the uh, Yoder YS640. We've got it set at uh, 275 degrees, uh, about the hottest you can really go and still impart some smoke flavor uh, into whatever it is you're cooking. Once you get about 275, you know, the woods tend to burn a lot uh, cleaner. You don't get as much smoke off of them. So we're running at 275. I am uh, running with uh, apple pellets and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on right now. So here we go. There's what your salmon looks like. Looks pretty fantastic. And I got skin side down. Stick it right there about on the middle of the bottom rack there. And we're going to let that go for about 20 minutes. Once that's done, I will uh, bring you back and we'll go ahead and do a taste. And again, we're looking for more of a white uh, when it starts, the fat starts to bubble to the surface. That's when we're going to pull it off. So it could be 20 minutes, it could be 15, it could be 25. Uh, really got to kind of keep an eye on it. So uh, you don't want to overcook it. Nothing worse than overcooked fish. So I'll be back with you in just a minute when we're ready to pull it off. Okay, here we are back at the Yoder and it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, salmon and I have checked it throughout the cook uh, and I think it's probably just about ready now. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, that's about as done as we like it. So as you can see uh, down here, you've got a little bit of white right there. Now on a um, spring salmon or more, a more fatty salmon, you're going to have more of that white coming to the surface. But again, that's a good uh, thermometer. That's a good indicator to know that the salmon is done. Now, if you want it more cooked and you want it more on the, on the well done side, you're going to want to leave it on longer. But for us, that's about perfect. Like I said before, if it's even rare in the middle for us, we're totally fine with that. So we're going to go ahead and pull it off right now. Oh yeah. Looks fabulous. Perfect. You're okay. There you go there. That's what it looks like right off the Yoder YS640. Now we're going to take it over uh, and we're going to go ahead and plate it up and we're going to give it a taste. Okay, here we are. 
back at the table here. We've got it off the Yoder YS640, and here's what it looks like. Now you saw it come off the grill. You did see that I maybe broke a little piece pulling it off the grill. Uh, the skin is on the underneath side, so you will want to take that skin off, but you can cut and then you can scrape off uh, right from the skin. It'll come right off, uh, so you don't have to turn it over and pull the skin off. It'll, it'll come off if you just cut down to the skin and then just kind of scrape over with a spatula or however you're gonna um, cut your, your um, portions out. So uh, I'm excited to try this, so let's go ahead and get right to it and uh, give it a try. All right, I'm gonna take the piece that already fell off, this piece right there, look at that. Look at that piece right there. Perfectly done. That looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Take a little chunk of that. All right. Here we go. That is so good. That is so good. It's juicy. Taste that marinade that we put it in. The rub that we had on there. A little bit of smoke from the YS640. Uh, fresh, obviously. I caught this. Uh, I mean, it's it's barely been out of the ocean. Um, it's just phenomenal. Salmon is my favorite fish because it has flavor. You don't have to put the flavor in it, but we did today, we added some flavor, but like I said earlier, you can eat salmon without basically anything and it's fantastic. So anyway, there you have it. I'm gonna call it a wrap. This is phenomenal. I know I say it all the time, but I'm not, I'm not lying to you. This is phenomenal. Give it a try and Thank you again for joining us on Northwest Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified on all, all our new recipes. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Northwest Backyard Barbecue.